This yeah. feels nice. Thank you. What, um, what were you going to say? I was going <laughs> to say, shh. I've lost the steam. Like Come a on. Giraffe. I was going to say. <laughs> Welcome to the capsule, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the capsule. Hey. Well, guess we're, we're back, and I'm joined by my two good friends, do it, do it. Sally, Way, and Lou. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I made Way. <laughs> Way, you had chips. Tally's had chips, everyone. I did have. She's chips. well fed, so she's. I've been boss man. <laughs> been boss man. Ah, uh, lots of jokes come mm, to mind. Yeah. Um, go on, finish your intro. That was good. Um, I liked it. And what today, you where you might have seen last week's episode, where we spoke about Camilla's DMs. <gasps> have you got any DMs? No. Oh, fuck. That would have been... Have you got any DMs? My DMs consist of memes. And when I say consist of memes, they consist of me sending other people Yeah, memes. those are some. <laughs> yeah. I felt inclined to go slide through, but I don't want that smoke. Don't. But don't slide I'm sure your version of the bad DMs is like bad work emails. That would be <laughs> yes. so good. Oh, well, I share do those, don't I? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this fucking like, video. I, yeah. No, I, I do. I do. Have that would like, be a fun section. I'd be so up for that. Have you got any now? Not well. My phone's plugged in, but I can. Uh, do, yeah, that is that is in. a thing. That can, is a thing. Is there any that you've got? Like maybe that you've shared on your story that if people are watching that haven't seen before, we could bring back, or are they not accessible? Are you free for free? Because I'm not free for free. Well, I had that, um, was it the last time I podded actually with that music video that came through and the money was rubbish and the girl was like, I used to dance so I get it. Sorry, XO. <laughs> yeah, but and we I didn't. Say the girl, the producer. Oh. No, we didn't talk about it because we, sp yeah, it might have been that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I used to dance so I get it. Sorry, XO. <laughs> so yeah, Brett, tell, tell everyone what happened. So I saw there's a director I follow that I really like and he put up two dancer castings and I wanted to submit, but I was also like, I manage an agency. So if you need help, like getting the talent together, I'm down. <laughs> Email this produ this address. This is the producer. And I was like, what's the fee? She said 150. And I was like, that's like a third of what it should be be for what 150 for what for a for, music video for like or for just one day shoot yeah it's just it was freestyle stuff just okay. the shoot i was like it's a third of what it should be and then first she said like sorry to i hate to ask don't want to take the piss it's like we're not mates like why are you talking to me like that <laughs> oh she literally said take the piss yeah oh that's a it's weird like phrasing. i hate to ask yeah, but you are. And you also, are you're not asking me to do the work. You're asking me to submit. Like, it was just all over the place yeah. professionally. And then that bit happened. And then I went back to the director about the second casting and was like, is it the same fee? Because that's low. And he was like, no, it should be better. But what did they tell you? It was like 150. She was like, I don't know why they've said that. It's 350. It's like, do you want to let your producer know? <laughs> what she's supposed to be asking for. Or telling people. Yeah. Yeah, the producer's trying to save money though isn't no it? but it was 150 for um extras and 350 for she was like i can put you up for featured dancer if you want do you want to look at who you're to, like not look at who you're talking to but a little bit yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. do you yeah. know who i am hit with a drake a little like on. but i find that a bit that we should almost get to put in i know you can put what you want in your email signature yeah, yeah. but i almost want to go 36 not an extra. <laughs> Don't 36, fuck about 20, 20 plus years experience. Don't play because games. A little bit. Yeah. That's good. That is good. That's true. I think we should all put our age and how long we've been doing it in our email signature because. Not a mug. Yeah. Not a dickhead. So don't try me. Sorry. It's probably too then, early to swear in it. Uh, oh, it's all right. I've already um, said fuck. Yeah, all right. but, Cutting all of it out. <laughs> Abe's back. <laughs> Did you miss him, guys? <laughs> yeah. So that that was that was that one. I need that picture of me. And then I looked at again. 
<laughs> her Insta and she was like mid 20s. So I was like, when did you used to know? Yeah. Because I thought she might have been like older than me and like at some point, whatever. But like, so it. you did ISTD, <laughs> yeah, yeah. jazz tap and modern. hundred percent. Can, can we? And now you're going to tell me that you get it. I get it. I'm I with you, sister. Yeah. Like, People that say I, I used dog, to dance. So I get it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh but it's like, in a way, like I, I don't always take offense to people that say stuff like, like, oh, I used to dance stuff. Cause I'm like, all right, in your head you did. But it's like, <laughs> it's, it's also like, kind of like, imagine me meeting like an NBA player and be like, yeah, yeah, no, I understand basketball. I used to play it. <laughs> it's like, it, yeah, though. no, you used to play in like a you small Sunday. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. If you're going to say you used to be a dancer to someone you know is a working dancer, mm. I'm it's assuming a bit different. it's because you used to work as a dancer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and also when the context is professional. Like, yeah. it's not about like, oh, I understand how sweaty studios can get. It's like... Which I also... Oh, that's a good email, that. What? I held... What, um, I've had chips. <laughs> so that's that's where all this is coming from. We love this. Title. I, um, <laughs> no, because we're not doing those titles anymore. Oh, we're not? Different type of titles now. Oh, yeah. I'll explain off the podcast. Okay. Um, yeah. I hosted workshops for someone at... I will say, because it was just rubbish. Do you mind if I say? I don't get me. Fieldworks. Come for her. Which looks like a perfectly lovely yes. space. Yes. But it's just not made to have like 20 people in it doing choreo and sure. sweating. Because like the floor, Stick, it was also like December, November, December, it was cold and like there's nowhere for the air and the heat to go. So it's like puddles basically. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. And what did you, have you been to pineapple? Like... It gets really wet in there. Well, what? Because what, you what complained, complained about it. it. Yeah, I complained about it. Wanted some money back. Like it's just not possible to dance in there. Like it's that. just not built for purpose. Like they've got a Sonos system, yeah, which yeah. is amazing. But if you can't get that, there's no one on site to help you. So yeah. you're just stuck with what to do. And Fuck. when I get hold of you an hour into the workshop, there's a Bluetooth speaker in the cupboard. It's like, oh well, maybe if you let everyone know that at the top, they yeah, don't have to yeah, try yeah, and get yeah. hold, all that stuff. And you're wasting time in the rehearsal. And um. Yeah, it was like, have you been to Pineapple? It gets really warm and sweaty in there. And it's like, that's what happens when you've got lots of people working hard in a room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, 36, 20 plus years experience. <laughs> it's Who not my first time to? in a studio. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, like that's what happens in a room that's not built for... Per there was just no accountability for it being a rubbish facility mm. for what we were doing. It was just my lack of knowledge mm. and it's like you can have half hour free for your next booking oh you think i'm coming back, back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's always the one you think i'm gonna what use your service again happening? and it's like half an hour free so you're so I've still i'm still spend money to yeah. get yeah. the freeness i see you, you yeah, know yeah you're yeah. all right you don't <laughs> no you're all right mate <laughs> i feel like we're having two different conversations <laughs> yeah Mad. um yeah that is funny but people do love to like play dumb in emails or like i don't know give i think it's so it's so funny because it's like email tone alone is like it should be uh i hate it it should be easy mean? to get what do you hate i hate bad being professional in emails because it's just not who i am and it's not how i'm we're just gonna not professional no not like that <laughs> but like it's not how we're gonna talk like you're not supposed to like i can do it but you're not supposed to be like oh like if you wouldn't mind like you're not supposed to send an email like you're supposed to be like this is what i want this is how much it is yeah, Please but you can, yeah, that I think is you can professional. Do that. Yeah. That, I know it that's doesn't need to have the flowery yeah, as know, per my I'm previous not, and all that jazz. I'm not very good at that. I prefer flowers. I'm good at that when it comes, and I think you are as well, yeah, but like when it comes to like um, when you have to get techie with the argument side of things and you're keeping it yeah it's like they're coming oh actually I we needed you to do this and this it. and this and i'm like as my last email stated um you this is you know you get I, in the i took a screenshot of it actually because my friend asked me for the dancers network like terms and conditions yeah and i had to go into a thread with that a music video i did where it just ended up it was just the, the body paint free, one free one basically the body paint yeah yeah and um had a back and forth with the director which was really pleasant and she put us in touch with like the managing director of the production <coughs> company to talk it through and like the email that i'd sent to the producer that had done the the nonsense i read it back the other day and i was just like <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding you smashed it like i love like professionally telling people about themselves i really enjoy it yeah i need to send you my emails before i send them off yeah, yeah. do yeah. i'm gonna be a proofreader also when i retire yeah i love so. picking like typos really mm. love it and you make money stefan like knows that yeah huh? is it yeah yeah it's a thing oh snap like um, read drafts of books and like stuff when i have you. like late fees 
and I have to email my agent to chase them. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't want to nag you, but are you kidding? This is the second, yeah, no, yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah, but I think and there's ways of saying it. Yeah. Or just like I'm wondering, where, like, when's my payment coming? Yeah. Oh, I, I love a good. It. Just checking in on this. Yeah. Just checking in on this. So just checking in on a payment from to, last I've, month. I think I used <laughs> when you, to when be, you put the time in it, it makes it like you're like oh, just checking in the payment that was due three months ago. I exactly. did do that. I we did spoke about that. it on the second yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love you know what I love doing is when someone says that they don't remember something, and then I reply to the email where they said it. Yes, and say just sending it's you the yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> like this is the this is the thing, right? Like I will get there and I can do that because I've done just checking in, but I don't want to have to email oh, of you course, like yeah, that, yeah, man. Yeah. Why do I have to email like, because I don't know. I just feel, I don't, when I read it, I don't think I'm like someone sending that to me and being cold. But when I send it, I feel like this isn't how I talk. Mm. But I think I've gotten good at it because I've been doing it for other people for so long. So uh, I now find it easier to do it for myself. To like it's like you could tear like a mate's girlfriend a new one for yeah. doing him dirty in yeah, a way yeah. that you'd maybe like tiptoe around if it was your situation yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. i think the same thing that's a good way of happens yeah. Yeah. yeah i think yeah, I, I quite enjoy it now because it's like hilarious phrase <laughs> um but i think it's, it's the full moon guys <laughs> Two, two, two. Um, oh, brilliant. Um, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> um, I find it fun, to be honest, sometimes. Because it's like, mm. it's, it's all a game. It's like, you know when you like, I don't know, play basketball against someone or play football or battle or whatever, where it's like, we don't actually dislike each other. We're just yeah. trying to score on each other. <laughs> I kind of take business like that. Like someone tries to do something to me and I'm like, oh, nice try. Like, <laughs> no, but nice try, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then like I get them back and then they're like, oh yeah, okay, well, we'll raise your fee. And I'm like, yes, cool, goal. It so <laughs> is that though. Yeah. I get so annoyed if I... Um, make an offer like a fee offer and they say yes right away i get really yeah because yeah, you didn't get to like, i could have got more yeah mm. that's the way it should. you know what i was saying about uh, email time it may, it may i used to be gassed when i got a yes no yeah exactly <laughs> we were talking about this at the, with the uel students that it's like about negotiating and, and it's like you don't want a yes and you don't want like you don't want an immediate yes and you also don't want an immediate no however there's actually more benefit in getting an immediate no because mm. now you've set your price and they will have that in their head. That, when like, they come back to you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. If, if you say, if you say, oh, I'm going to charge 300 quid or whatever and they say yes, you're like, fuck, because they had budget for 500 or whatever. Yeah, an immediate yeah. no is quite rubbish just in terms of like, a negotiating skill like did you yeah. want me to do the job or not like do you want to even try yeah. and like get me but also more? like if you say <laughs> no. if you say 600 right and then they say no when they come back they're gonna say oh we've got your 600 yeah, they won't expect any less than yeah that. exactly so yeah, they won't negotiate next time i get that if they come back yeah my mate demar's really <laughs> really hilarious at that he's from manchester because he's always like wants to find out how much they're getting paid how much money are you making? And then I'll tell you how, how much, much I want. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I'd do that, but I love that. Yeah. yeah. What's the bud? What's the overall budget? Yeah. 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 Can you just send me your budgets and I'll allocate myself some money? I feel like when we were doing Dancers United stuff, we that's a point that we were trying to get to with production companies. Like we want to see what the budget is. And I get as dancers, that's not going to happen. But I feel like transparency like that would be a great thing and like what are you hiding mm -hmm. interesting like lay it out even if like it doesn't change the amount of money that we get i'd just love to see where it's all going. yeah that would be interesting actually yeah. you've got to be ruthless in business don't you you gotta be your own war chief yeah yeah it is a bit it is like war games kind of thing yeah. which i respect because like i never get angry when people try and you know, mm. pull me down or yeah. like, or get yeah. me for less. Or I'm like, I'm not taking this personally because fair play, like you're trying to do what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get more money out of you. You're trying to save money so you can get more out of whatever budget you've been given. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, fair play. And like, let's see who, who wins, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's game, game on. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm I don't really that, mind enough. it too much, but, and, and I think it's also like, if you know, like I, I've worked, I work a lot with friends and it's like, sometimes like i mean when we when you hired me for something before it's like there wasn't we didn't really have a negotiation you just said do you want this and i was like yeah cool mm. <laughs> but like i've had friends where they've hired me for stuff and there's been a negotiation there's even been issues or whatever and it's been like oh actually this is what we agreed not that and it's like i can still see them 
after and hang out and right, we're fine right, right. you know and it's yes, like nobody's yeah. like pissed it's just like oh that was like it's like me and you play basketball against each other mm. and then we're like trying to if you win or we're not going to be afterwards like oh, you tried to score on me like mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like we can still have a normal friendship but it's like oh yeah that was business of course you were trying to get the most out of your mm -hmm. like i don't take it like it's a personal thing how do you find how do you guys find it then if you've been speaking in a more flowery way and now you're making that transition with the person. people that you've already spoken to in a flowery way and now that you're like okay straight war war chief mode mm. you feel like that'll well, be when red. i said flowery i meant like the extra professional speak like the as pers and the oh. yours faithfully not like the nice flowery kind yeah I meant nice but flowery. i think also Sorry. if you're yeah i mean if you're being because the thing i find is like i'm not flowery and i'm not rude i'm just mm. kind of yeah you're truthful just, yeah and it's like i think when you're a professional and you kind of value your stuff it's like we have a right to say you know when someone's like oh can you do like here's the fee can you do like 10 dates for that and i'm like no i can do five it's like that i'm not yeah. being rude i'm just like yeah. i can't i can't do 10 days for that like i would love to help you out but i'm not gonna you know do all this extra work that i'm you know what i mean no, or whatever you're right, you're and right. then when they say what about seven it's like mm, maybe six and it's like neither of us are no it's just like they're trying to get more you're I'm trying to, yeah so the flowery oh. thing would be like unfortunately uh, i won't be able to do the 10 days but maybe mm -hmm. i could suggest like rather than just be like no i'm not doing it you mm -hmm. know so it's more just me like professionally explaining that i'm not mm -hmm. going to do that yeah. um there was one situation i had with um it was like a personal connection but um someone without going to too much detail on it um they paid for a certain thing and then kind of wanted more content after the fact. And I had to say to them like, oh, well, like, and they were super lovely and really nice. I had to kind of say like, listen, this isn't, our initial agreement was this. Mm -hmm. I get why you're saying, can we have more stuff? Mm -hmm. But usually I would like, you know, charge for that stuff mm -hmm. and you haven't paid for that. And I really would love to help you out. And it's actually not that big of a deal off my back to provide you with more stuff. Mm -hmm. But just professionally, I was, I said to this, that I was like, like I would love to help you out and blah, blah, blah. But like professionally, I have to like protect myself and mm. I have to like, uh, I can't remember how I phrased it, but basically like I said, like I have to move in a certain way professionally as much as I, this isn't a big deal for me. Mm. I do have to set certain professional mm. standards that I can't just give out to mm. anyone, this mm -hmm. type of stuff. And we sorted out something in the end. It was, it was actually really lovely. It was like a, it was a company and they sent me like product instead of, cause they were like, we don't have any more budget. And I was like, well, what else can we do? Cause I want to help you. Yeah, yeah. You don't have budget. I was like, what about if you sent me product? And yeah. they were like, oh yeah, we can definitely do that. And I was like, great. Then I'm, I'm happy. Right. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it was, it was equal actually yes. more, I think than I would have asked for. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't think they felt slighted. I didn't feel slighted. It was like, I understand that you want more and you don't have more budget. Mm -hmm. And, it was a whole complicated thing, but it's like basically that person, it's not usually their job. Right. So they're like, right. I don't know how these negotiations work. I, I'm usually in running the company or whatever. Right. But yeah, it was just like, I don't think it's a negative thing necessarily, especially the, it's not flowery to be extra nice. Yeah. It's just professional way of saying, like, yeah, it's like you could have said, say with your thing about the dancer, the woman being like, mm -hmm. I used to dance, so I get it, XX or whatever. It's like, you could have said, um, I understand that this is maybe not up to the usual thing, but mm -hmm. um, I, like, I really empathize with you and I hope you can understand that we are working to the best of our ability yes, to yes, yes. provide. Yeah. Like there's a way to say the exact same thing in the same tone almost, but just not Also just like, so where casual. was the curious? I said, that's a third of what it should be. Yeah. As a producer, I would have thought you'd go, oh no way, what's it supposed to be? Like, based on what like whose mm. rates or like mm. what agreement is that that you're taking that from like mm. do you even want to know like what the standards are in the yeah. field that you're in or mm. not so much or unless that's like a imposter syndrome thing like you know you're out of your depth you're like fuck like you're scrambling to like yeah yeah make it like, oh yeah, yeah but don't worry because this and you're like oh shit you know i can't remember what i, I replied to the <laughs> Just an emoji with sunglasses or something. No, I think it was something to do because the 350 was still under. Yeah. So I was like, I won't be submitting, but you know, all the best with it. Yeah. Yeah. Fun. What an intro. <coughs> we got straight into it. We didn't it, plan huh? that. We did. Um, what else do we have Blame on the, the chips. On the <laughs> Blame the chips. Or thank the chips. Thank whichever you, way you feel chips. About it. <laughs> Bring them and I'll thank you. Thank them. Yeah, we need people on here that are willing to read out their DMs. Woo! The person, for everyone that listens, by the way, the person that um, wrote the DM to Camille last week, if you listened and you, and you know the one about when I said, you're so damn sexy or whatever, he commented on the post. So it's hilarious. So... Uh, yeah, shout out to him. He's what did a, he say on the post? 
He just said guilty and then put like a laughing emoji and then a, a fire emoji. And then Is did he? it again. Yeah, because he's the one that he wrote in our DMs like, damn, you're so damn sexy. And then we read it out on the pod and he saw the reel and commented guilty. and but Mad. That's, that's so sick. funny. He's about that lie. Yeah, he's it's a also legend. sick that he then went in and still put the fire emojis afterwards. I'm guilty. Right. Uh, I'm right it. You're still fucking hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Imagine he DM'd her again. <laughs> <laughs> Just wrote her again. It was like, I'm in it. <laughs> I'm glad you read the DM. Like, Do I have more of a chance now <laughs> yeah, that yeah. it's out in the open? Come on. So imagine like, we have like, a relationship there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jokes. Um yeah, that's a new segment. Um shot. <laughs> what we should else? do like a kind of um <laughs> like you know in the metro. Yeah. To like the tall dark haired guy on the on the oh, one like seven. On the one, is that on the metro? Yeah, they on the one on the seven six. Newspaper. I wish we'd got off at the same stop tomorrow. Yeah, that was what? pretty good. We should do what could How that could we be, do that? Like how can people send things in like that anonymously? Well, we can like do that anonymous, anonymously. There's an anonymous questions thing. Remember that you? Oh, yeah. So what, what, like basically other dancers that you find hot? Like you have to, like we could like, and we read them out. Like we go to such and such's class together all the time. That is so and sick. I've like, I've Cupid, to, oh, when is it Valentine's Day? Oh, we missed it. It's been, but no, just every do day it, is love day, But we guys. can also, if people trust us to be anonymous, <laughs> They could just write it in like the yeah. normal questions. No, I, could... you wouldn't want anyone to know. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat man, you're joking. Do you know what I used I, to love me? on MySpace? I used to have this widget. <laughs> the with the podcast? I would never. <laughs> yeah. there, was a, there was this widget that you had where it was like a fridge and anyone who went on your profile could like arrange the oh, letters on no the way. fridge to say something. On, what? So, oh, on yeah. MySpace, on MySpace. Yeah. I've never seen that. That's so, sick. So like people used to leave like, I fancy you or whatever when you were like in like 14 years old and I used to oh be like, God. oh, you left this. Let me try and figure it out. There's something in it, you know. There is. This might it's be a vibe. Cute. Guys, tell us it if is. you want yeah, this. It it's cute. <laughs> yeah, if we do the anonymous, the, to be honest, the only reason I haven't done anonymous questions so far <laughs> is I'm like scared that I'm, people are just going to fucking go in on me. I had one thing <laughs> and it was, can't. I, yeah, like, I get one I get that for response real. response and it was, are you a lesbian? <laughs> that was the solitary anonymous question Who I got, you know. On, on it's the, anonymous. You don't know, it's anonymous. What is it on? It's, 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 just it's like called a NGL or something. And in, then if people click the link, they can just ask you questions or say things and you don't know who it's from. And I wasn't expecting the floodgates this. to open with like, but you I was like industry this. questions, like whatever you want. And that's it. That's it. That's sick. Just so you, for the you, record, you this, guys. You can put it on your Insta story. People can go on it, right? And then you get just completely anonymous questions. That but is sick. I would do this for the capsule, but I'm just scared people are going to be like, fuck the capsule. Yeah, but people I hate do Luke. That. Who fucking cares? Yeah, I know. He's going to have my feelings. Just set the record straight. I might dress like I'm butch. <laughs> <laughs> it's but like surely. a stud. <laughs> but. but I'm not one. So all about the boss man. So slide in <laughs> her DMs. <laughs> all about the boss man. All about the fronts. Um, the literally the fr no. Um, yeah, let's figure out. Do how that, we can man. Do. What Isn't can we it? do, it guys? Give us cute. the suggestions. So yeah. anonymous questions, but we're saying it's like a misconnections type of thing where you want to confess your love to a dancer or something. So many dancers love off other dancers, yeah. but like. I don't know. In I could answer brain, all of them by myself. I, because be I think what ruins <laughs> all of relationships between dancers <laughs> is generally the involvement of everybody else. No, or if yeah. there was a way for it to just like be a cute little like thing. Yeah, but know. then how are we going to connect them? Because what we'll read out is fucking Tally, I think you're hot. And it's like, who are you? We don't know. Still nice to know. Yeah. I but I mean, we hot. can't actually make the connection happen. There's it's not way. about the connection. Let there's us know a way. If you think there's a way. I All don't right. know if the connect. If, oh, is that what you guys are interested in? I'm just interested in people confessing, like confessing. knowing. Yeah, yeah. I'd be down for that. Someone no, I'm trying thinks, to make. I'm trying to make magic. This would have been great for Valentine's Day. Where were you on Valentine's Day? Yeah, where were you on Valentine's Watching Day? Watching Sylvia. Yeah, well, why weren't you helping me with this? <laughs> How is it? Is it good? Don't ruin it. I need to go see it. My friend's in it. This is conflicting questions. Say it. <laughs> Do you want <laughs> it to say it or not? Raz. Yeah. Raz is wicked in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm really proud. Like I was saying off pod. Can to you explain what Sylvia is for them and me? Sylvia <laughs> is a musical a based on the life and times and just the time period um, with Sylvia Pankhurst around the suffragettes story. Oh. Um, <laughs> it was first done, I believe, in 2018. It's a... Kate Prince is the writer and oh. choreographer of it. And um, it's at the Old Vic at the moment in Waterloo. Did it get nominated for a Olivier? Olivier's, yeah. yeah, four, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Me saying, I don't know what Sylvia is, and we definitely spoke about it last week. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
But as I was saying to Luke off pod, similarly with Trap Lord, I, I do rate sticking with an idea because it for, it ran in 2018, but did kind of come up against a lot of issues like getting it on its feet and to not just go, oh, sod it. Or just to still care about an idea enough to like elevate it and get it oh, really? done. I oh, think that's is sick. Great. Yeah, that's um, wavy. So I, I am really proud of the company and Kate for, for that. And what were you saying to Abe about, you said you were proud of someone, I interrupted you to ask that. Oh, Raz, he said he's got a friend in it, and I said, Raz is great in it. Yeah, he's good. He works uh, in the underground on weekends. Does he? So when he does Sylvia's shows, he has to then go go work for TFL. I didn't know that. Six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, he's a soldier, man. Yeah, he's a kid. Love you, Raz. See him at the raids, them. Oh, he watches the pod as well. He doesn't What's like. Up? He didn't like. He just was like, "Oh, I saw this on your uh, on your Instagram story." And a random. Oh, that's who you sent me it. the. No, that was someone else. Oh, but he, Raz, somebody watches. Raz uh, <laughs> thinks it's hilarious. He likes it. <laughs> Thanks, Raz. I love you. You were great in Sylvia. I haven't seen it yet. You but saw I know him you in were. Antigone. Oh, who was he? He was one of the black dudes on stage. I was going to say, just, <laughs> please just please just say the black guy. <laughs> So I'm not sitting here for five minutes. Why are you thinking about the? Uh, no, but which character was he? I mean, not he describe him. Different characters. What was his character name in the thing? He was Strom. Do you know at the beginning of Antigone, the guy that comes out with two beers, and he's like, ah, Oh yeah, that part. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. he's yeah. the black one, man. <laughs> yeah, I told you. What do you mean the black one? There's multiple black people in that show. My brother, Polynices. Yeah has two oh, friends sorry. that he was playing video games with. yes the white one and the black one don't remember that well but cool. yeah all right cool that one that one sick <laughs> um <laughs> thanks for that should we talk about <laughs> should we talk about why but what's assistants, next assistants and associates you know what i was Jesus thinking Christ. i was wondering about casting assistants and associates assistants. not getting assistants. i was thinking about <laughs> that earlier today and i was wondering just if there was anyone that this is so weird to do you know what's hilarious about this is this is something that would have happened. This did happen naturally. And this is not just something that you're doing to be funny on the yeah. pod. You would do stupid shit like this. Yeah. But now that we're doing it in front of varying numbers of people each week, <laughs> but some somewhere in the region between two and 300 people. Cute. That's actually quite a lot if you think, ah! <laughs> it feels weird. It was the end of that sentence. Um, guys, the numbers have been going up. I'm very happy about this. <laughs> The numbers have been going up. Do you want to? Do you want to see? Do you want to? This makes me happy. Look, this is just. We're doing analytics look at that. right now. That's just. Whoa! Oh, the, go on, lad. That's just the the audio only. That's all. That's not even the YouTube. That's oh, that audio, audio only. I have to watch what I say now. I was going to ask. Do more people watch than listen, don't they? Uh, yes, on on average. So, like the last few have been. Let's say on audio, there's like n around a hundred average. Mm -hmm. And then on the YouTube, we've got maybe, uh, where are we? What you been watching? Well, the last, yeah, last week's got 350 thing and then another what? hundred on thingy. So what is, what is very good. you want to see your episode? Yeah. <laughs> 392. So you're still in the lead. All right, we catching just up. Got it. And that's no. in four days. Shut Yours has been two weeks ago. Shut up. <laughs> You both beat Sean and Chandani. Yeah. But um, yeah, the views have been going up. So thanks everyone for listening and oh, watching. And <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, and um, yeah, we appreciate you so much. And I'm going to start some uh, ways that you can contribute to the platform. So please do when you see that come. But um, huh? is he crying? Already, yeah. Yeah. So rude. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy about the numbers. Please tell a friend about the pod if you're enjoying it subscribe like if you haven't already write us a comment we're Keep, giving away fries we're giving away free fries to everyone you get one french fry each if you subscribe yes um Luke will sort that jenny yeah, will sort jenny out. will yeah <laughs> sophia can tell sophia to do it all um send all your complaints to, at to sophia. sophia yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> sophia is now handling all our complaints <laughs> <laughs> through her personal account so if you just actually i'll give you her whatsapp did you used to watch points of view no, that rings a bell what I'm talking about though no. it was Anne robinson <laughs> yeah and like people it was sending in their <laughs> thoughts and comments on the tv shows so the whole yes. pro bbc <laughs> program was just half hour of her like reading out like <laughs> oh, didn't like <laughs> it <laughs> I we should do that. Davidson That's was talking too long i remember they like already? to yeah no i did i remember when people used to like Sometimes on new segments, they would have like people's complaints, complaints mm -hmm. of like a TV mm -hmm. show. Bro, if people complain. We could do anonymous complaints shit. about events. No, that would cause chaos. We could, though. <laughs>
it'd be anonymous. <laughs> that would that no, would be a we, really good thing for Dancers Network to use. Actually, they should use that link more. In what way? Just to get like the horror stories. If people really don't uh, want to put yeah. their names to them, anonymous feedback. Because you know, until that, I'm sure there are other ways. But like, even um like the question thing on insta like it's great that an audience won't know who sent it but there's still one person yeah. <laughs> who knows who what knows, you said yeah, yeah. um yeah sorry also one. everyone that listens sophia is also on the capsule account so when you write personal messages to me she also sees it so <laughs> so just letting y'all know <laughs> she sees everything <laughs> you think is between us so I have a personal account. And even account. if she hasn't been across it on a certain day, I'm sure she's scrolling through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. She's missed anything. For sure. So, um, that bad stuff we did? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my like, God. <laughs> okay. Good morning. and associates. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's where this all started. Great segue. There is a the best there. segue in the world. It tends to take assistance. <laughs> 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 right. I don't know that. Um <laughs> Yeah, I go on. Can I just say I yeah, only found this out recently. I'm going to put my phone on charge while we do this. Okay, okay great. That's very good information for us. So please, continue. we can look each other in the eye. Yeah, no more shaven head, man. <laughs> I um, I did a workshop. Yeah. Like I don't know, five I'm six months ago. <laughs> it's the first time. It's the first time I realized that uh, one of the casting assistants said, "Yeah, we don't. We do loads of work." like casting a tv series or tv shows mm -hmm. and we don't get credited and i was like what and then i was like trying to imagine if i'd been in a show my scene was on tv and you just didn't credit me mm. so i couldn't put it on my cv or anything like that mm. what the flip is that about why is that a casting assistants generally the ones that help in the room the gen generally the ones that do like the admins most of the him. heavy yeah but they also go out and find like most of the maybe not the leads but they find like the talent yeah, yeah, after that yeah that is rubbish it's really bad yeah and it's like like i asked i've asked a few casting associates and assistants and they're just like yeah i don't know why it's really bad that happens because i asked for a credit because on everybody's talking about jamie I'm so sorry for people that listen to this regularly because I'm aware that I'm just like repeating Fuck or at least talking at the same about the same projects. But we were only representing like a few of like Jamie's schoolmates. And mm. then suddenly we were casting and sourcing all the dancers, which was like a hundred more people. Mm. And like I set up the auditions for it. And so I did ask like, I need like a dance casting credit. credit. Yeah. And like they did give it to me, thankfully, but like, not if I hadn't asked. asked. That's weird because I don't understand any logical reasons. Like it's not going to, is it going to cost them more money to write your name in the credits? No. Then I don't get it. But I get that so many people like the assistants, I guess you've encountered, don't ask or don't think it's even theirs to have and just don't really think about the credit as part of... But like they're gonna credit because they can put on their CV that they did it. That no one's gonna say, "I need to see the slate." Yeah, well, so. still they credit like Tim on who flipping helps put tape on the floor. Yeah, I That's have true. this all the time, like caterers and mm. craft services, and it's like, are you kidding? You haven't credited the dancers. Can so I, I get it? Can I throw in a off-topic, uh, controversial take? Go on, go I don't on. need everyone credited in the fucking instagram caption when you repost no neither do i no. like I especially either. i get if you're a dancer and you want to credit the other dancers but if you're just a dancer in a music video and then you're like second lighting i'm like, like i who's get because benefiting we fought off this? for so long to get like credits for ourselves for us to then especially if the information is there for us and you can just like copy someone else's caption and pop it sure, in your sure, own fair. it's like just give everyone their it's a nice sentiment isn't it due yeah i yeah. think so also i have a we, we i remember i made that meme and you didn't find it funny Which one? <laughs> I'm I, was, <laughs> <laughs> I don't make many memes but i thought this oh was you a made funny it one. yeah remind me but i was like it's so funny when you see dancers like going off on instagram about oh we oh, don't get yeah. credited yeah, yeah, and yeah. and how dare they not credit us and like which is very fair but it's so funny because like 
videographers and photographers have been saying that to dancers oh, for, for so yeah, long yeah, yeah, since yeah. i first yeah. picked up a camera yeah. everyone i know has been like complaining that dancers don't credit their fucking video or they just tag them in the thing and not on the caption and it's like no one's check they're looking at the video they're not checking all your tags mm. to see which mm. one of us is the videographer yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. just write who directed or uh, not who um who did the thing who took the picture or whatever and it's like it's been so or like people will crop out photographers logos mm. they'll yeah not credit them they'll put filters so many and then they're like oh, how dare you not credit us and it's like we've been saying this to you yeah. so it's just funny for me on the the production side on that end mm -hmm. that it's like it's see them chatting it's, yeah it's just it just made me laugh but anyway um yeah you back spoke to about the casting, casting yes. assistance but well i thought it would it was interesting I've been uh, sorting out a website for myself recently so I can get off that Babylon application. <laughs> and um, <laughs> and so I'm having to write about myself and I... <laughs> so I'm stuck on it myself. Babylon application, that was good. What is it? the Babylon application? Instagram. Ah, I just Babylon? like need my work to be somewhere that else. I th it's, what, as in... Uh, no, I was just thinking it might turn more, but that's all right. No, I just was doing that, but also doing yeah. that load. So I thought I'd angle a bit. Um, I was writing about my work as an assistant and an associate. And mm. I thought it was just interesting to point out with that being the entry point for most people that go on or a lot of people that go on to be choreographers, like how many different forms that can take. Because I've been an assistant and not contributed creatively at all it's been more like pa vibes yeah. mm. and then i've have i've maintained someone else's choreography still not contributed any but if they're away then i've taught it to like the next set of dancers or whatever and mm. then i've been an assistant that's contributed like half the material so i thought that was a good distinction to make but also just like a gripe like i said to luke I, we're not on twitter so we're not limited to just like listing credits now we can give more detail and i think if we can be specific about what our assistant or associate has done it would just be great to do because that's how we're booking work and also us as choreographers are getting more work based on what clients are seeing and if they're seeing other people's work that's a bit shit mm. and i've known it to happen for a really long time how do you I mean find it very disappointing how do you mean on the um seeing other people's work like if i'm watching a piece of such and such choreographer but in actuality half of it was done by their assistant got yeah the person whose name's on it's going to get the work again they may take their assistant along for the ride but it's just fraudulent behavior and i don't like it and i don't think it should happen and i think there may be some movements to be done into creative direction if you're no longer making the steps it's so all right to not make the steps but you've got to let the people know who made the damn steps <laughs> <laughs> i'm just i'm just making a note for myself to cut that for the real for instagram so there's like there's but the thing is like, i feel like there's also like game of thronesy type vibes when it comes to it as well because I've He's got dragons? a friend who <laughs> I got a friend who wrote He's a dragon for a big show. I'm not going to name any for for a reputable show on a reputable network. Game of Thrones. And yeah, it was Game of Thrones. And them like the faction wrote a lot of the material <clears throat> and it was all getting credited and was going to be credited to another faction mm. and it was this one person's who decided that was the case. Mm. And then when the boss found out their boss went what are you doing mad you gooba what do they say in game of thrones you oh, cretin I seen it i've not really watched it as well i stopped after the first season it's rubbish and then everyone's about uh, how could you not have watched it <laughs> oh my god but the news talking the green fire um no it's uh <laughs> yeah and then but it's just like what are you doing like you know like I, you have your skill set is your skill set and skill sets evolve and like your interests change and yeah. as you climb ladders like uh, sometimes like I'd be the choreographers that I'd assist mm. their interest lay in making more so 
and they trusted me to be talking to like labels and management and stuff. And that's fine. Some people wouldn't have that trust and you'd be like, you're just going to have to make the number because I need to do mm. make this call and like cuss out this person. <laughs> but like whatever the scenario is fine. But <laughs> I guess also I like to talk about my process and I get that people like I ain't got time to be like, and this number was done by such and such. Mm. But like, yeah, but it's not about liking it. It's about what they deserve to be recognized for doing yeah i'd say so because also i think it seems to me like it's a bit of a like insecurity on the thing either it's insecurity like a personal insecurity of like oh i don't want people to think i'm not good enough or whatever or they've been paid and correct me if i'm wrong on this sort of if this is the format but it's like if you've been paid to choreograph something and then your boss finds out that we've choreographed most of it Mm. you might get in trouble for, for credit in us because it's like wait 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 if, what do you mean they choreographed this number this number that you were supposed I've to choreograph I've wondered that. about that mm. but I don't know if that to be the case All because right. I mean it's out it's not a secret that like Aaron Silish used to bring in like choreography teams for like the bigger sure. projects and like delegate yeah. numbers and yeah. stuff but we were called the choreography team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like, if there's not a budget... But I always... I did wonder if clients of his were ever like, but we're asking you to do it. Mm. But I do think that they trusted, like... But his network, like... Is part they of his They liked process. what he yeah. curated. Yeah, 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 yeah. So but I, I mean, if there's... Let's say if there's, like... um, Yeah, but, like, I think... There is an argument, I think, for, like, a choreographer and a direct... Uh, like, a, a movement director or a director of the the room like because it's like you could have someone who you know you you might as a as a dancer might put together an eight count here or this or that or put together sections but the person that molds it all together into a piece does have a lot of like that inputs a lot if that makes sense and it wouldn't look the same if you just put those things they might give you direction they might tell you where they or they might be like oh thanks for making that but change this part and that's all choreography in my opinion right Mm. but i think that's direction direction. oh sorry like direction but it's like in a way you could and i mean maybe there's different roles in the sense of what people are getting paid for but in terms of like like choreographing a show part of it is that like stage direction and, and working with who you've got in the room and whatever like so my whole point is i think there is a bit of there can be a bit of a blur yeah gray area between direction and choreography right but But, go on sorry no i was just gonna say like but it's more on the pay scales because it's like let's say the producer says um i've got 500 pounds a day for choreographers and i've got 250 a day for dancers or whatever don't shout at me dancers network i'm just saying random numbers to make a point but Let's say that's the thing. And you're getting paid 500 pounds a day. Me and Abe are getting 250 a day, but we've done all this, all this choreography. And then if you then go and credit us as choreographer, you're the producer and your boss Mm. might say to you, no, you're getting paid 250 pounds a day more. Mm. So why have they choreographed this many numbers? Like, Mm. you know what I mean? Like they might not see it in that same way. They might be like, no, don't make them do that because that's what you're getting paid to do. And and additionally, if you're getting paid to do that and they're doing it, what are you doing in that time? And yeah. they might have so many questions that you're like, no, I choreographed it all. Like, let's just not. I think. Does that make sense? Or am yeah, I? Yeah, no, it takes no, a bit of wrangling because like Lion Witch and Wardrobe will come back at Christmas, but I don't think I'm going to be around to do it. So I'll have right. Jevon and potentially another assistant put it back together. Do you get any guap? For and they're like, well, like the word on the street is like we can't have associates and assistants so it's like well that's the only way it's going to get done if i'm not about or they're saying they haven't got money to do it. it's like no i'd that's fine but if you're paying me to do it i'll pay them like i'm not going to yeah, be there so yeah. i'll just like give them money and then money. they can go and do it but so there is a way to do it sorry delegation is just like normal in everyday life as well yeah. but there is a certain like but if I leave them to do it, they might do a really good job and then they might get the next one next time. Because I found Uh. assisting that like when I kind of showed that I could do the job, I was actually like shirked and like we're maybe more peers now. Bye. But it's like, but that's a um, credit to your mentorship yeah 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 because yeah. if i didn't get better at it after five years You're then like that's some <laughs> shit. Yeah. so like this is an ultimate compliment yeah. to you and i love assisting because you get to learn all the ropes without like having the ultimate responsibility like i really enjoyed it yeah but i did uh i think that's why i was shunted look every lie 
incurs a debt to the truth. And sooner or later, that debt needs to be paid. What's that from? I don't know if anyone lied, but... Uh, he just had that wrapped yeah, up. Yeah, he just no, had it ready. I watched... Uh, Is that anything that we said in the body? He's going to find a way to... <laughs> I watched Chernobyl recently. And he Thank says that yeah. in the end. Your smints are coming out. Your oh, my No, smints. not your smints. Bloody hell. This part... The You're on our, our wave today. I like it. This yes. part of the uh, podcast is sponsored by smints. Get yours. Oh, I've got... Your local retailer. I'm all right, thank you. I'm just thinking if I've got cherry drops you? in my bag. Do you know what? Cherry I'm drops saying? are the. I only got it because it was a two pound minimum in that's Bossman shop, yeah, and yeah, I needed yeah, yeah. water. I hate when Bossman do that because that's technically illegal. You should be charging for credit cards, not debit cards. But also, I used to um, lie and say that I they were throat lozenges in school. Cola frosties as well. Cola frosties. I don't mm. know. No. They were too hard for me. Did uh, anyone else do that? Where they were like, they would generally have a sore throat, and you'd be like, Miss. And it was yeah, a cherry drop. Can I have. A, no, not the cherry drop. Like, let's <laughs> say it was actually lockets or strepsils or whatever. Like, I've got a sore throat. Can I have a strepsil, please? And they go, Yeah, of course you can, Abe. And then all of a sudden, everyone's like, Abe, hey, I've got a sore throat as well. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, no, you flipping don't. You're not having my strepsils. Were a lot for me as a yeah, kid. Yeah, man. It was tunes for me. Tunes, yeah. tunes are good. They got the little they bit me sweet. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it just wasn't as harsh. Like strepsils are a, like you're ill. Strepsils, I just have no, tunes as sweet, harsh. not as a sweet, but like <laughs> just like <laughs> a, just like a whisper of an illness. <laughs> <A> whisper. <laughs> yeah, tunes were nice. Tunes fit nicely in your tongue with a sniff of an ailment. <laughs> but no, lo- lockets, lockets were the ones that were harsher. Oh dear. Actually, black currant tunes were mad. Why do they have to be black currant? No, like why they gotta be strong. black? They were strong. <laughs> why can't they be everybody White current? Curry. Yeah, everybody um, matters. Current. I didn't think I was gonna have the energy that I've got today. Yeah, I no, also yeah. feel like Abe energized me. Yeah, Come on. with the fries, but also just his presence. You didn't Come annoy on. me as much today. Got a friend who used to do that as annoying. Is that a That's really annoying. No, you like on? go for a spot and they <laughs> stop it and go no no no. I thought we were like creating a new thing. <laughs> All right, now Ooh, I'm going to be the sorry. one to pull this back on okay. yeah. track. <laughs> Shall we watch the chaos? your yeah. thing? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've never seen her like this. Come on, not on the pod at least. Get us some fries. <laughs> 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 no, um, no, but uh, yeah. So I we're taking a laid back approach to this podcast will <laughs> <laughs> just up and down up and down um 20 past nine let's wrap this thing up. <laughs> <laughs> we already started at fucking 8 30 <laughs> um <laughs> so there's a competition in the states called vibe dance comp which is like h h i with less sound effects um hmm. And maybe more of like a narrative themed steer. I don't think the rules are as um, intense. Like Choreo Cookies, The Company, Carbon Modern. Who it's else? like the, some of the stuff that we used to watch like yeah. back in Toy Box days. Um, and I think this is the first post COVID one, I think. <gasps> Um, and this set is from the winners, Shibi Unity, which is a Chinese crew that one of my dearest mates and there's no bias in this i promise yes, there is. um there isn't i promise you there isn't yeah. and um inspirations <laughs> larkin point and choreograph so this is the winning set from vibe 2023 Rob, they beat choreo cookies i don't think choreo cookies yeah. placed yeah, this is, um, yeah oh they, they didn't place, place. Yeah, no, oh man but well, what's placed. the deal with choreo cookies oh, keone and mary Lan, no they don't do oh, it now not. and then it was carlo durang and chris martin i don't think they do it either i'm not mm. sure who does it so i am interested to watch whoever it is i haven't yet you fucking ruining the ship right? <laughs> choreo cookies to be up here. what are you doing no listen you know what um i was yeah. saying to tally off pod yeah. is that it was really, I have a friend that was in Cookies and they was, we were speaking ages ago and um, they was like, they told me and Telly said she knew this, but like that a lot of these companies are just like basically university dance um, teams. What do you yeah. call that? Like dance societies. Yeah. Like this is what they do. Like while like they're the, studying, they, they just do it for fun. What? Yeah, these are like our dancers delight lot. Sorry, no, I didn't mean to mean it delight, undermining, like, but yeah, not, but what more like, like set um, for set? No, like, not like, even like I would say it's more like um, you know, like those uni dance competitions, where it's just like 
That's what it seemed yeah, like to me. True. It's like a but bunch yeah, of unis right. that are like meeting and they just get good choreographers in. And it's Whoa. like, how are you yeah, this like clean? This, they're doctors and scientists yeah. and vets. and What? Yeah, like this is, this like is their just dance. their hobby. What? That's a hobby. Yeah. yeah. Imagine Yo, it. that's sick. Yo, that's everyone wild. here is shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> also, is it, chi- is it not chibi? You said shibby. Is it not chibi? Chai Maybe. Bye. So sorry. They're like those small, I don't know what chibi is. They're like small... Yeah, play play the um, play the video. I don't know if these guys are going to like this. By the way, I will. Oh, we haven't seen um, it, and you haven't seen the cut off. No. So yeah, I'm going to like both things. Play the video. All right. I love watching videos with an expensive camera in the middle. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can watch it on the phone if you want. No, no, no. I got it. I'm used to this. I tried to make the lights out of the way at least. But stuff that happens centre is going to be a shame. We got it. Put it here as well. Okay. Pops I come in. through with the props. I love the crowds at Vibe. Yeah. They're so high. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's sick. It's like an Asian popping battle. <laughs> 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 oh, we love cannons. Whoa, what? No, that's sick. I actually saw what they did with the cannon. Now, that was wavy. My eyes hurt. What just happened? <laughs> it took cannons to another level. Dude, I love the fucking song, man. I knew that was going to be yours. Come on, dude. Yo. Oh, flipping. Nirvana video. I get that reference. If that was the reference, I I thought it was sick. Smells like Teen Spirit. That was what I got from it. Ah. They just did a Harry Potter spell. (laughs) Sick. Sick. Yo! I like like this. this, um, (laughs) <laughs> I like oh hello yeah the property and the set design kind yeah. of yeah property property is a sick the property is, yeah property is a very good word I want to know creative as well I want to know what the other dance crews thought when they saw them tech this on stage mm. they're like ah oh, shit we've not we're not winning that floor guys. work is mad man <laughs> I think the song choice is sick as well. But this like yeah. context to have a song like this is a brave choice in itself, I think. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. They're killing it. I think they know they're crushing it as well. They're like, yeah, we're doing good guys. <laughs> I really like this. Yeah. Oh wait. Love it. Mm. Then they hit the lights. Uh. <laughs> Bruv, what is this, man? I love it. They're not getting budgeted to do this. <laughs> oh. Bruv, I love human creativity. Yeah, man. Me too. Is that thing? Yeah, probably. Wait, it's very important. Look. Wait for it. I do like when they do this. Ish. Wait for it. This technique. Ish. What the fuck? They just Harry. They're doing Harry Potter on the stage, bro. What the fuck, man? Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. <laughs> That's cool, bro. That was I sick. Thought so. Yeah, bro. I wish. Unison! Really good shit as well. Go on. I'm gonna be the. Go on. Go on. Whoever's in charge of choreo cookies right now, I'm gonna be them watching this. <laughs> like, shit. Let's pull out. 
<laughs> Brotherhood. Oh, that's three that was a good set brotherhood is three years ago yeah yo that is sick i was sitting in the front and you wouldn't believe the yelling and literally everyone in the auditorium that's one of the comments oh yeah everybody in the auditorium stood up when they came alive from the hoodies sick for spoiling it four replies (laughs) yeah in it what fucking dickhead (laughs) although i I thought they meant when they took them off when i was watching it like it didn't give it away for me oh still yeah don't don't spoil it bruv God. Don't spoil Come it, Brandon. On, guys. Um, 1981. I was screaming you, watching it live. Did you like it? Yeah, that was fucking sick. I'm like, that was wavy. I did like it. I'm like, I don't know. It wasn't vibe enough for you. It was yeah, it didn't blow me. You, yeah, the song what? choice didn't blow me away because I didn't like it. Because you're much. an uncultured swine. Yeah, that's true. Um, no, but it was cool. I like the. I like the. That, like those moments, those effects and stuff I thought were really cool. Yeah, I thought there were six set pieces. Yeah. It, like, yeah. I've thought about moments from it since. And they weren't mm. like the unison, like bits of choreo. It was like the, the smoke, the flare thing mm. and like the girl dropping down. And I also think that last bit of unison that they can yeah. all execute breaking yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. to that level is sick. That's mad. And I did cut you off, sorry. No, I think I was done. Um, I think... I said to Larkin, because I did message him straight away and just like, gassed. Um, <laughs> I think whenever I see work, like if that was at, what show would that make more sense at? Uh, maybe like a breaking convention or something. Yeah, like when I see work in this context, it's the same as like, not to be self-referential, but I'm going to be like when Jack, Stephen and I did Serious About Street Dance and we're right. dancing with to like Leanne Le Havas in socks and then yeah. Sugar Pops pissed and you know that whole <laughs> that's a funny story esca- it's, yeah. I will tell my grandkids that story yeah. Sesame Street is realer than this yeah I will Sugar Pop went off he said that sh- oh Sugar Pop yeah because yeah, it was a thing called Serious About Street Dance and they performed and they're like this isn't street dance because it like, was more like contemporary guys, it's the name of a show. isn't Sugar Pop I'm gonna hold my tongue um, but I think let's do that <laughs> what it, like when pieces like put a pin in that I put out of on stages that are out of context it really pushes the conventions of what is not what is good but a little bit yeah it gives a bit of perspective it's like oh you're used to seeing all this so you it's like hhi or something where you kind of see very similar things. yeah it's like but no one ever said that we couldn't do this mm. yeah and don't get me wrong i've seen some cookie sets you know kriona mari also did that um but i i think um larkin's movement vocabulary is a little um, yeah outside of those conventions i was just really impressed i was impressed by it well executed well prepared well thought out Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. i'm larking it somebody call out to your out brother you? i don't have calling to call your <laughs> name Whoa. i just cut back into this part i didn't know the, the calls with no, no one, one else oh, to blame. Oh, the other one. No. <laughs> no one else to blame. You couldn't help out your own neighbor. If if can, that part. Oh wait, I was going to say you can do that, but you can't. No, I can't. But I kind of can't. I, I really did think when we I met. I do accents, Do you remember man. when what? we met and I was just like assumed that you were. Indian. Indian. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that's hilarious. Why? Because he kept doing the accent? Because I'm no, brown. No, because he's brown. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> hilarious if it helps that's pretty you much my casting lot. time yeah <laughs> you're playing the this jury <laughs> both ends of the spectrum that's hilarious it's not vishnu <laughs> that's really good oh the neighbor's Sardip. complaining complaining about the noise oh. he loves he loves banging on the ceiling um <sighs> we gotta be quiet in the pod now because <laughs> yeah i mean it is very late <laughs> It's 9.37, guys. But we're laughing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it doesn't like Mate, us. Yeah. Like Greg, in my old gaff. Oh, Greg. I remember get, uh, Greg, who's He'd like, I know it's your birthday. But That's hilarious. Complain on her birthday. Yeah, no he way. was really pissed. He's like, you could have done it at the weekend. <laughs> like, you're okay. It's my birthday. <laughs> it happens once a year. <laughs> yeah, I was <laughs> like, in 30 minutes, oh, it will be done. Yeah, Celebrations will be over out. and you can shut your clock. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we yeah. do the car? Let's do the car. Um, so, Telly, you've been on the car. I've done it, yeah. I've been at the car. Yeah, Abe yeah. has watched 
the cut off before. Yeah. Um, you haven't seen this one, have you? No, Harry I haven't seen Kane. episode three. Um, yeah, so we thought we'd do a watch along for you guys if you haven't seen it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, is there much to set up on this? No, the cut. If you don't know about the cut off, the cut off is the Monkey Flip Media. Joe Priest does a series now where love Joe. He, you're going to see also all of this explained. Um, <laughs> but Take he gets. It then. Yeah, all right, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll save it, because Joe's done a good enough explaining it. A good enough job explaining it. Good enough it. explaining it. Yeah, Maybe well. I'll say it, because Joe's done a good enough explaining it. Okay. I just want, like, an instant replay whenever you fuck up. All right, well, <laughs> let's, on that <laughs> note, Thanks, let's start the cut off. <laughs> let's do it. So if you're not watching, guys, all right. open up Spotify, and there'll be a video there. I'm going to do the rest of this in Scouse, because it's got Harry in it. It's on Spotify, there's a video now. There's video. Oh, what? so this will just be on Spotify anyway. So like... Yeah, you can watch it on. Yeah. You can watch it or listen on Spotify. Ah, got and it. And you can watch on YouTube. I use Jeezer. Oh. Know, so. <laughs> that is like some sports direct... What are you, a locker? ...podcast... Well, it's got so um, lossless audio, so who's the loser? It's got what audio? <laughs> Lo- is it lossless? <laughs> lossless. Audio. What's that mean? I'm sure that's what it's called. Just like she better even quality. Know. <laughs> you don't even hear the difference, which is like, yeah, I can hear the difference, but that might also be an She's earphone like, thing. Uh, They're just high, I guess it's like Tidal for Swedes. How, 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 much, how much is it per month? It's 15 now, but a family what? one. Though. Have you seen the cut off, Jen? Okay. What's going on, Jen? What are you saying? Do you want to watch it with us? Come on. Come on the sofa. We were also hungry. There's a wing. There's Donald's. (laughs) chicken in the fridge. Do you want to put it in? Uh, Ah, okay. Do you want strawberry donuts? I don't want to put my chicken in. Strawberry Strawberry donuts. donuts. And we're talking like this because we're going to watch Harry. So, come on, mate. Let's get into Harry the cutoff, shall we? Harry and Kane. Press Let's play. watch it now. Phone a friend. Phone a friend. <laughs> Look at him. It's it's funny guy. Cut off. Get 90 minutes to make some magic. Right. We'll finish early. That's not happening. It's too hasty. You together. see that? You see that? Oh. See? Oh, yeah, my dude. Ah. It's getting dark. Stress, Joe. <laughs> I'm not stressed. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself right now. There's no way we could go wrong. There's no way we could go wrong. Famous last words. No, no way you can go wrong. Not supposed the cut to off. It. Look at that fancy logo. Ali with his Nike, Nike tracksuit mates. Come on, fucking love it, man. <laughs> I'm Kane. I'm mainly a freestyler, battler. Cheers. Well, I like him. my hands in all the pots. Get me. Name's Harry Barnes. Dance name Dirty Harry. 26 as of yesterday. First time spending my birthday in London. I hadn't clocked about his name changing. Oh, oh look at that. Which is wild. I just, I knew it was Harry Popper at some point. I just oh, kind of missed the, the switch over. I've been dancing for about 15 years, but professionally about three. Started dancing when I was 14. The popping class luckily started like a month after I started dance classes. And I saw that straight what away. I was like, that's the one. Originally, I was Harry Popper. But I, for whatever reason, I just didn't really like it. I think I don't like Harry Potter, really. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I don't know sure if that has anything to do with it. He's like, oh, dirty Harry. And I was like, oh, I prefer that. My little 94 year old nan's like, my grandson's not dirty. I would say my biggest highlight's been winning Red Bull, Dark Horse Star. One of the biggest achievements I've done so far. We, then, we were there. We were there. He killed it. Managing to win around the UK. I wasn't there. Winning abroad. <laughs> if I had to describe my dance in three words, authentic. Put the oh, word feeling in there. Been there. Oh, nice. Like to feel things. Yeah. Really yeah, you do. Why not? It's unique, fun to watch. You know, and keen. Yeah. I haven't yeah. done a lot of collabing <laughs> with another person, so that's a new thing for me, which I think is going to be a lot of fun actually. I've always liked the idea of actually collaborating with someone. He's doing a lot of this, isn't it? Really it? <laughs> a lot of use of his well, hands, like... People don't yeah, expect bro, you to man. collaborate with certain people. When they see the duo, they're like, oh, I didn't know this would work. And then, Dunno. Man, Hair's <laughs> banging. Hair is banging. Curl pattern is patterning. Today. Also, Kane's I see the jewels shining, eh? On the ears, <laughs> on the lobes and that. It's like making movements, making a name for himself. So stupid. It's quite inspiring, to be honest. I can't keep up with you two today. I'm being quite chaotic. Yeah, I love it. Carrie. Yeah, Chips. Don't know him. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's another, it's another one of them ones where you would expect me and Harry to. Yeah. Because like, obviously he's, he's like from Liverpool and that. You wouldn't expect me and Harry to work together because he lives really <laughs> far away. <laughs> you know, you get 90 minutes 
<laughs> That's why Harry's like, oh, I'm not used to collabing with anyone. Yeah, because you live a fucking <laughs> six hour there, drive away from anyone else. You live in Hogwarts, you fucking <laughs> waste man. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit anxious, you know. Oh, um, babes. I never seem to struggle. I really, with, like, I did appreciate just being tally like now. That. I did appreciate the nervous, the vulnerability and like the honesty. Yeah, Harry's good at that. I find. He's quite an honest guy. He's an idiot, soft Harry. Yeah, you think about it. He's a cute. He's a cute Harry. Change his name. I'm a little bit anxious, but I'm very excited to see the the final outcome. To be fair, go on. It's just good fun, isn't it? Let's have a laugh with it. Come on, no. lad. So, uh, straight down. <laughs> oh, my guy, Harry. Katie boy. You see him, bro? We did on, see you see each other yeah, already. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we just said to Joe, it's like, you're trying to make it look minutes. like what? it's Ready? the first Come meeting, because it, it's definitely clear that it's not. Cool, so let's start, yeah, with the left. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> what song are we choosing? Let's just play these two, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they... Choose then. This was real, I think, yeah. Right. One. Yeah. Oh, purée de pommes de terre. It's my new favourite saying. Oh, that's the what the comment was. More, I was yeah. very confused. And the first one's a oh, bit purée de pommes de terre. Like, it's there. It's Are they potatoes or apples? Yeah. Um, mashed potatoes. Probably do more to this, yeah. Easy decision. <laughs> Routine done. <laughs> Big man thing to the location. So we got that beginning, I think we to should the hit location. that whole thing in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kane was quite funny in this one, actually. Almost like we were like, fighting to get the yeah, solo, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine Kane's in his head like, that's a that terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jordan did that to me a few times. Just like, said yes. Just no. Oh no. Just like, I'm just gonna hit you. And then we do. <laughs> saying, like, what, what I would have appreciated that. The thing is quite funny. And look at each other. You've never heard Harry make choreo sounds. Is that thing? At the end of a sentence, he goes, I enjoyed this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be stress to film. Right. Yeah. Anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, just anything that hits that time, and yeah. we'll, you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't hit the first beat of the song, but <laughs> <laughs> they did spend a few minutes <laughs> trying to get that first beat. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how long it looks yeah, yeah. like it is on here. It's all sorted. I mean, <laughs> well, if you listen to the song, it is quite tough to get that first. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta let it go, then, no, isn't you? Really? Oh. <laughs> well, they did it's that with head, something else, it. right? It's really stressing me out. Right now. I don't know if it's in there. Um, yeah, I think it is. Phone a friend. <laughs> Harry, it's a terrible joke. Guys, you meant to laugh. You're wasting you're time, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's why you're right. Say, you didn't say that, did he? Well, Kane didn't say that, did he? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. we could do. That'd have been great. What if you did say that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're wasting time. time. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> we we have an hour and a half. <laughs> Big man thing, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You can't even get the first beat. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to not make jokes? <laughs> Stop talking about my phone t-shirt. Try and hit the beat. Uh, who's pressing play and restarting it? Um, Dan, I think, another guy. Nah, Bless him. Like, you know what's so funny is like when they were doing this spin, I'm behind the camera like, and just being a dancer, I'm like, watch it. And as soon as they did, I'm like, that ain't happening, guys. <laughs> did you say that? No, because no. I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, and then it's like, after they try it a few times and they're like, yeah, this isn't happening. And I'm like, no, it was never going to happen. <laughs> Ever in my life. It was a very ambitious move. For the, cause of the speed. Yeah, it was just like a big move in half no count. Yeah. It's going great, can't lie. <laughs> it's a little bit harder than I imagined, can't lie. Look at Kim. If we had like a few days yeah. to practice it. Like we haven't played it dead easy, yeah. do you know what I mean? We've tried to do some hard and like yeah. hit every little thing, especially with the start. So it's always going to be a little bit <laughs> These are all there, inside this. Kane's like, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> Easy. He's got half an hour left. Lie down in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Cat. Boom. Da da ta 
Ta. I think we should just hit little points yeah, of each yeah. other solos. Mm, <laughs> they just went, this is solo. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just solo. Listen. Yeah. This is just a freestyle. Yeah, don't, 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 we got 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just solo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll take first 16, you take this. 16. And then for this 64. Next section, I was thinking. <laughs> Some like hip hop type. It's like, oh, there's how long left? Oh, solos from here on out to the end. Solos, solos. One of these. The neighbor's gonna die. Do they come down and. Yeah, he complains sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Just pod days. No, it's mostly Abe and Lee days. Let's try and find I've done multiple pods where he hasn't complained. Has they been as fun? No. It's been <laughs> 15 minutes, I don't, you, you finished with 15 minutes left. You see Did this, they? you're going to do this in 15 minutes. Don't show the clock. <laughs> no, no, I think he's, 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 lying. he's lying, he's covering it up. Ha, ha. They did, to be fair, they did go ambitious with the choreo. Uh, <laughs> For two people that aren't really choreo. Right, right, right. I never got my maths GCSE, so I don't really understand numbers. So to me, that says 90 minutes <laughs> left and 10 <laughs> seconds. Thank you. And again! <laughs> Not again! What am I doing? I'm not sure what we did differently there. <laughs> oh, good no. Just can't yeah, wait yeah. for the cut when where they're crying. Just warm, warm, warm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spending yeah. so much time laughing. Right. One more. One more, and then we can. Let's go. One more. <laughs> I'm dying to ask questions because I've seen it. Go on. Did they Never change what they like made? That. In the room, uh, like, did they downscale the choreo no. at all? Oh, they so they kept everything they yeah. made. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Because it looked like yeah, they choreographed no, like way I more than what <laughs> ended um, up in the. No, I think it's pretty much the yeah, same. Right, it's just it the good, way that it's yeah. edited. Uh, yeah, yeah, challenge. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, like I said before. Can they not like play the music at like half time? Who, a good luck to whoever, whoever's that name. Is. <laughs> um, like half time. I feel like, like we're trying to choreograph. Like, no, ourselves. we didn't we do that. We're not allowed that. No, you can. Made something you can a little do bit that. more. Then why didn't they do that? To, to, to I mean, not all stereos allow that. No, but like if I don't know, like on Spotify, you can play things or YouTube, you can play things at like point seven five speed. I can't wait. Yeah, Needs to be soon though. Yeah, what? Well, that's mean, a real thing on the cut. I'm not gonna lie. Like yeah, yeah, to cold. have just Anyone's made something. That's not happening. Uh, it yeah, is like we need to shoot yeah. it now. Mm. Like that's if I'm not gonna have too long. the night to marinate yeah, on yeah, it, yeah, yeah. like we need to like yeah, keep yeah, up yeah. the momentum so, of it a little bit. It was very cold. No, we don't like stressed Rupert. God, this footage is so good. <laughs> Who's it, you? How are you doing the shoot? Um, Who's that boy? We're just gonna do it. Cheers, <laughs> 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 Mr. Monkey Flip. He's gonna come. Um, Kane did a proper job of explaining. He took here, me through yeah. everything. And I come through. <laughs> and then I meet Harry back here. Then we come and do this thing that I don't know what it is. <laughs> and yeah, we're done. That's the cut off, innit? Stress levels out of 10. Like 9.7. Well, we know that makes for good TV. How are you doing, Harry? It's like I don't care. I'm doing great. I'm It'll be doing like, great. A, like one of those dogs when Feeling they hear Can I say their the owner on TV. Like, I can't be bothered, <laughs> <laughs> that was actually you? so real. <laughs> Kane, you went for the t shirt? Yeah. I sure. stick to my words and I don't lie to people. You're mad. No. <laughs> Word is born. Because yeah, him and Harry were both supposed to wear the t shirts. And then Harry was like, I can't. I'm wearing a hoodie. What's the t shirt? I think Kane knows the guy that makes it. I meant to be over there. I know I did wear before, but I'm over here. Steps in the door. Oh, he would have been pissed then, wouldn't he? Who on my shoes? Getting dark. Earlier, the mic, my mic wasn't working, so we had to get a new mic. And now I've got poo on my shoe. No, so we right yeah. Are you like trying not to die of laughter cool. inside? No, I was laughing, but it's like, it's also like everybody's, well, like not everybody, but he's like stressed and I have to just go stick a camera in his face and yeah. be like, so tell me Capture what's going on. <laughs> like he, even this oh, like, getting pissed. like Harry's just pissed. Oh, you know, like, come on. 
That's me. Together. I'm not stressed about it. <laughs> but we've just installed a few little lights there. In whose idea was that? I kept dying, so we needed more time. <laughs> I'm quite disappointed in myself right uh, now. Right. We haven't given. Oh, it's mate, come right on. It'll be all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, us, mate. It is ago. hard. We didn't show it in the edit, but <laughs> we only had half an hour. What? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, mad. <laughs> Like when your body but like doesn't get a bit, Kane, like can you turn your t-shirt off? Like mentally can, yeah, be rough to come back. It'll take especially fucking if you're while. performing. Yeah, and it'll take a while to fucking undo that. You see, I made I made them laugh, <laughs> and then I fucked up the take. Oh, he's getting stressed. <laughs> Did you say burning the head? Yeah, I don't yeah. want to put a hat on now. Yeah. Positive mindset, positive attitude. Go on, lad. Yeah, got the Cortez beanie on now. Come on. There's nowhere we could go wrong. Done, no. There's nowhere we could go wrong. Like, what he said. Kane, <laughs> positivity, man. <bro. laughs> Luckily, they didn't do that it with two nice. scousers, eh? Otherwise, it would have been a fucking no, shit no, show. This is all right, that's all right. That's like, it sounds like I'm being a bitch, but I'm not being a bitch. I'm just, I'm just a perfectionist. All right. You're mean, why are you laughing at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I love it when my friends get stressed out. That's what friends are for. <laughs> it's gonna work out, obviously. Yeah. He's like, it will do. Otherwise, you won't, uh... Thank you, mate. You wouldn't put it out. There's a really good DFAM video. That's just so dark. Like, I get we like shooting at night, place. but it's like, I want to see the dance. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see the cut off episode where yeah. it goes no completely it wrong. Yeah, I think and we need that. And he puts it out. Easy, yeah, the like shit, the shit yeah, 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 just like <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then cuts to like at the end, like, like they just, they just like trip over or something, yeah. mess up the choreo, and then just goes, you flip media. I guess once he, like, it's a commission. Anything you've learned from the process? Because also, there's no like release <laughs> form <laughs> stuff going on. Because mm. well, you if you've got a release form, then you even do, like changing how we you can put it out whatever. You like. yeah. Whereas I mean, now it is a bit, you know, oh, I don't like that one. I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. yeah Any advice to the next few people to take it on? Don't underestimate it hard. <laughs> uh, enjoy it. Mm. Like, if I'm going to tell myself some advice, I'd say enjoy it more instead of stressing as much. But I'm a bit of a stress head sometimes, so. Oh. Don't we worry, lad. We love you. Cut off. This is Kane. And this is Harry. Thank you very Harry much. Kane. We just scored a goal in the oh, oh, my days. Don't I like do Harry Kane. It's very good. Yeah, yeah, don't do yeah. That. I don't like it. <laughs> don't do that again. I don't know. Harry Kane. Oh, and they, oh, they kicked a video. Oh, they kicked a video. Oh, they got it. Cute. I mean, this stuff is not easy to get, right? Mm. Jeez. And through the wall. Jeez. The edit's different to the other two episodes, no? Like some of the little... Yeah, like, he's put some yeah, effects yeah. on it, yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Haz. How you feel, yeah? Special guy. So I'm gonna get that was the thing that was stressing them. Was so it? Much. That yeah. was the bit. It looked easy. Well, that was that like, and the thing story, at the beginning. Like it looked like they did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it. Imagine if I was looks easy. What was the problem? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> looks easy. Why are they stressing and kicking bins? Back to your email signature, okay, Tally thirty six. Thirty six. <laughs> Twenty years on ago. I think there's something in it, Jen, that we should put our ages and how many years we've been in the game in our email signatures, so people don't talk to us like we're nerds. Do you know what I mean? Like just like tally 36, 20, 20 years in the game. Experiences. <laughs> experiences. Try, yeah. me. try me at your peril. <laughs> heathens. In brackets, try me. Come at me, heathens. I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, at a nickel wall. What do we think of this episode of the cut off? You said it's there's uh it's more of a like freestyler vibe on this one. Yeah, or give it like watching the process of them making it. I thought yeah. there was more choreography in it, but you're not going to yeah. show us 10 minutes of people freestyling. So sure, I get sure. it. But I, I did like the, um, like there was a tension in there that I yeah. enjoyed, not for um, Harry and Kane, but like as a... <laughs> As an episode, like I thought it was the like better for it. And yeah, I, heard I that think this is some people's like favorite episode. I think that's the thing is like the this is what my opinion is on the obviously it's not my 
project but like i think when there's someone this is what i said about like you and jordan's thing where the the end product was beautiful right and i loved it however i also knew the end product would be beautiful right, right. and it's like i think that tension where you're like say with this one even though we know like harry and kane are going to work together we also don't, don't know, know what, they're gonna what how they're going to work yeah, together they're yeah. slightly different ages they're not super tight as friends and they're not choreo people. So like with you and Jordan banging out something in an hour and a half, like I know that you have experience, you know how long, like what you can create in right, an hour right, and a half right. to an extent. Yeah. 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 And the recall in order to perform it. It's like, even you being like, it needed to be done straight. It's like, I could have done, asked you two weeks later to perform it and it still would have been okay. Like if you would not thought about it for two weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I think with the freestylers, it's a bit more, oh, how is this going to go? And with the like, the tension of them getting it wrong and that type of stuff it does make i made a joke on the episode but it does make a, for good tv because it's like you get this like oh are they gonna do it obviously like abe said you know they're gonna do it because the episode's out mm -hmm. but it's like oh are they it's almost like a movie tension like oh how is it gonna work or when you don't know if the hero is gonna make it but of course they do because they're on the flyer mm -hmm. you know it's like that whereas um yeah i think you you need like if it was me I, and this is also my Yes, the AS ASMR portion. Yeah, this is also my like my things that I like to see. But like, I would have almost like pushed for more tension. You know, like I would have put people right. who you you really think like, oh, I don't know how that's going to work, mm -hmm. or that like a complete freestyler and a complete choreographer. You know? I would well, laugh. I'm just laughing because <laughs> to achieve that, you just need me or Lee or both of us in the background. Oh my god, yeah, just laughing, just stressing. Yeah, 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 <laughs> just making it worse. Just imagine Lee's laughter coming in as Harry's kicking a bin. I would bin. love to do... I mean, I won't get to do it again, but I'd love to do it again. I think... Because I tend to... like When friends tell me their ideas, I'm like, I'll do it. And I'd like... So I'm nearer the guinea pig age of projects all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, can I have another go? Well, we can make our own. We can call it the shut-off. <laughs> the shut-off. And nice. we just have to create choreo in 80 minutes and perform it the nice. next day. The cut on. Nice. The cut on. The s Didn't yes. uh, Calabo do at one point where Stop like it, everyone did. got the same yes. soundtrack and like they had to, like during the show they had to, no I'm mixing up two things what you had the same soundtrack and yep. you made your set but then there was also something where the set was made during the first half. Oh, I didn't know about that. You know what we that did, which was hilarious. We we do? did one of those collabos where everybody got the same track and you all had to choreograph to it we completely misunderstood the email and thought that you were allowed to like do what you wanted with the track as oh, well so were you going <gasps> oh no we cut other songs into it <laughs> like there was like the track oh, and then we put in made between a set with it yeah because it was a mix of songs it was like a five minute oh, set with okay, like okay, multiple okay. songs and we thought this is like a starting point so we <laughs> cut it up and put other songs in and like still choreographed to the original track but just did our own thing and they were like they saw the tech and they were like you got the so. tech oh yeah yeah they I let us perform the it was, was that in you, performed, you it. performed it yeah they know uh oh you might have it was a toy box one that's funny but yeah they were like they came after the tech and they were like so we think you misunderstood the entire <laughs> assignment and we were like why i didn't know that yeah and then um he was like well he didn't tell you no. like, well you might as well perform it now you're here <laughs> so i do remember i took away your agency and being like this is dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh Probably because we edited it ourselves. This song's dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I would, I would, but from, say with the cut off stuff, right? Like, I would do something like, I would have like Sunny and then like a, a complete like commercial dancer or something. Mm. And then I'd really make it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you hear yeah. the names and you're like, what would they even do yeah, together? Yeah. yeah. Um, but like equally professional, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So That'd be sick. yeah, and just like you know, somebody that has like Sonny's performed and done routines loads, but then it's like the commercial dancer knows choreography and should hopefully, fingers crossed, know how to use people that have mm. specialist mm -hmm. skills. And it's like mm -hmm. the the ingredients are all there for it to work. But you're like, oh, I need to see this episode. You know what I mean? Yes, I would love that. So I think like the the tension is good actually. Mm. Uh, you, oh, I you agree. Need that. What did you think, Abe? I liked it. I like both the. I like everyone involved in it. Yeah, which is why I was laughing. Yeah. If if they were if you didn't know, I didn't them. know I wouldn't be like <laughs> you. <laughs> You're stressed. <laughs> no, I thought it was sick. I really liked it, man. Um, um it did it was very cute, um seeing Kane and Harry work together. And yeah. seeing Kane be like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's cute. Um 
Yeah, I think uh, it's it is funner seeing more stressful. Yeah, things happen for the audience member watching it. It does give it more of an arc. Yeah, you know? yeah. Because um, you want it. It's almost like a, one. I was like, yeah, well, I have a feeling this is going to be great. You know, yeah, mm-hmm. pretty much great. The whole but I think through. that's also for me that is more of a thing for joe as as much as it is for the product in the sense like he i would imagine i haven't spoken to him about this but i would imagine that he wanted something that he knew wasn't going to go to shit on his first ever no, you know what i mean like 100%. you guys also, start fighting wasn't each other supposed to be out it was a pilot it was yeah, just to exactly. test the format yeah, like he, it was never so that's a great pilot i think released. yeah and also you know you know, have episodes more wholesome. Episodes. Tally's like, I can't help it that I'm that good. <laughs> no, <guys>. uh, <laughs> stop <laughs> saying oh, no, it was honest, honest, out I wasn't sure that he. Um, I thought the work would go out, just but I didn't. Still, didn't know that he p- was going to use the episode as an episode. Yeah, because mm. it is standalone for the many yeah. like we had the song going in we're mates we'd worked together before all that jazz but i think it's good though to see the progression over the four because especially if you're using them all as like which I hopefully does happen that this is very intimate is there a reason for it yeah i was gonna say oh. something oh no 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 go but like if you see the progression of like the four or the five like however many come out mm. then it's like you can kind of see like especially if it's for like a bigger business if you're listening go support the cutoff but like if they look at it they can kind of see oh i can see where this could go given like mm. <laughs> 10 episodes or you know what i mean like mm-hmm. it gives maybe a more of a an a season arc, arc kind of thing yeah. this feels nice thank you what um what were you do gonna you want? say i was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say I've lost Laughing steam like Come a on. giraffe i was gonna say what if you could do it again and you could pick anyone to work Ooh, with who would you pick good question that was worth it come on a pod sometimes cuz <laughs> Interesting, <gasps> Botis. Oh, but that would be too good. But I, I know why that you would say that. That's good. Because right? when you said Sunny, I was like, oh, I'd love to do it with Sunny. That that would be really interesting. And then like just past Sunny was Botis. Because mm. yeah. I've seen him in a creative space, and like it's it's just it's mad. It's I think that's the other yeah. potential. It was years ago, but. Yeah. yeah, I think that's the other potential of the cutoff is because like it's one thing is that, that we're interested to see how the people work together. But also if there's names that mm. you would know, but you haven't seen work mm-hmm. at all, it would be sick to just see them. So it's like two of them together is even better, you know, Sunny and Silk or someone like good. mad on with uh, heels with you. Yeah, that'd be sick. Would you do the heels? Yeah, as well. Sick. But like not the like. Floor humping stuff. Damn it. Not that stuff. Like the technical stuff that I can't do. In, like this, in this outfit. Just to, yeah. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. And then what happens? I'm really like internally like giving it some real <laughs> rotations and like. Just really internally. Undulations and stuff. But all you're seeing is this. Which is the key to my power. <laughs> um, <laughs> Batman. But really. yeah, I think like the really technical ones the, where I can't do, I think someone that does, like, I can't do what they do at all. Like, that would be. Fun. Yeah, I and think I that's do what the does, good, so. the good key to it. Oh, bruv, I want to see Dominant. I want to see Ricardo on one, bruv, just to hear the choreography <laughs> process. That would be sick. That would be sick. We're going to go boof. It's more like a woof. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you got to feel it. Yeah, you got to woof, woof, oh, wish. I miss. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's the best also too hot to handle Germany he keeps appearing on your Netflix slides so should we watch that next making me die with laughter inside because they all look so German too hot I think to they're handle not, they're Germany not, oh yeah no they're German they ones, are. Yeah. can we yeah. play the trailer for too hot to handle Germany no we cannot oh, no. damn it Oh, here we, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. They look what so German. Oh, yeah, we've got these. We've Come got on, a few like, audience questions. Go okay. be like in tech, like pretty early. In All right, morning. let's bang through these and then we can go. Okay. Um, it says like Mrs. Chaos tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Tally's been very Lee today. <laughs> I have been quite Lee today. Um, all right, so. And I've been very tally. You have been, actually. We all switched roles. There's only yeah. enough room for one of us. We are all one, guys. Four I'm Ryan Burgundy. Two, two, two. Yeah. <laughs> what? Don't worry about okay, it. Okay, audience <laughs> questions. So there's not as many as before. I don't know what it is about you guys, but you're not bringing in the audience questions like the others, all right? Go on. Maybe because you've been on loads of episodes and they already know all your feelings and stuff. They just don't care. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one. Um, ask Abe why he inquired about the Bunda a couple of weeks back. I emoji. 
do you, do you have a statement the, to provide on the this? The story I put out about why my Instagram is just showing me loads of videos of people with bundas. Oh, the, the, might the girls, you those just me. random yeah. profiles. Bruv, I don't know what's Mad. happened. It's since it's since regulated itself and I'm getting more dogs and funny videos. But for like three weeks, I was just... Oh, the algorithms. Because yeah. I was getting likes from like bot Oh yeah, I get that. Oh, yeah. like, I get that all the time. Oh, I get that mixed well. race it's girls. so annoying. So what Abe is everywhere. saying, he's like, I don't know why my explore page keeps showing yeah, me girls Yeah, I was like, well, bumps. I can tell you why. I can also tell you why. No, because it's all of a sudden now... <laughs> Should we have a look me, at your likes? No, it's all of a sudden me... No, that's not why. Because now it's showing me... You don't me, strike me as that kind of liker. No, I don't like But looking at... Hey, 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 hey. I'm not, not impartial. people I don't know. Only people I know. I'm not. Jenny's looking at me like, don't lie, Abe. I'm not impartial to Bunda, okay? okay. No, but you look. I you look. Bunda. If you stop on it, they, they try. Didn't you? But I watch and look at so many flipping videos of dogs and funny memes. And? Like that's, I look at that more. And Bundas. <laughs> but I look at those Did you more. Watch that? What's that thing that, about the social media, that Netflix documentary that came out? What was it called? When it, talk, remember, it exposed about social it. media and yeah. how dangerous it is. Social mm. dilemma. Did you not see that? When no. you when you scroll and then you stop scrolling, they calculate how long you stop yeah, on each I know, post. But what I'm saying so you're is, stopping on the no, bums. I know I am stopping on the bundas. I'm not so there you rejecting go. that. But what I'm saying is I'm stopping on dogs and funny memes more than buns. Yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, maybe I, you're not. No, maybe no. your brain's just the telling algorithm you that. Doesn't so you're like, like the algorithm doesn't lie. Algorithm is person. fine now. Look. Hold yeah, on. now because you corrected it. No, but also I like. Yeah, ask I I ask people for help and. People just, just has a super me, long phone. So people, Jen this was one of them. Kept on just sending me videos of people with bundas, and I'm not gonna not oh, click no, on them. No, that's not. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's bundas. That's funny. All right, should we move I on to the next question? Yeah, go on. Um, if you've got a nice bum, hit Abe up. So, <laughs> thoughts on the new episode of the Cut Off? Well, I think we've covered that, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> was it Joe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did a whole segment on it. You're welcome. Not every question gets that. <laughs> look, what? It's a UFC, that's a UFC fighter. fighter, but look what she's doing working okay What's well going that's on fine. combining interests <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right how would you run a battle event and what are your favorite dance events me but all of us i would i don't know how i'd run a battle <laughs> would you do, event. Would you do an experimental judge one? one not too long ago um and it did say with like the fee included travel and planning and i did think oh you know sometimes they don't amend the letters of yeah. agreement and fight planning fair enough but hmm. we got there thankfully with two breakers and they were like so how do you want to run it <laughs> what and we had to plan it like we had to like oh, plan the battle itself yeah oh i was like how do you want to run it that's weird by doing this <laughs> yeah stand up as it <laughs> battle until someone if i just flapping my blade for an hour or so like what you've said some great um, terminology flapping my blade flapping but yeah blade. thankfully there were two breakers there and they literally like set was it? up the battle hmm? who was the breakers uh roxy and gavin oh okay cool so there yeah um would you do like an experimental or something or other i don't have in i do want to do my sessions the sweet spot sundays thing i do want to do like a live yeah one where i curate who the dancers are Sick. and it's just like an hour just a show of improv yeah that'd be sick um, mm. but I, I don't have any aspirations to put on a battle event i would do um i think if i am to run a battle event which i hope to do at some point in the future i would want to do something a that's different from what's already out there i don't want to just do another one of the same thing and something that and I think this is a sweet spot with any product that you put into the market in general in life anyway. However, um, I would put something that people want, but they don't know they want yet. If that makes sense. If that's mm -hmm. not too like uh, speaking mm -hmm. in riddles, but it's like, if there's something that you know people enjoy, but they, they're they not like outright saying, oh, we need battles that do this or this. And because people, you can see by people's actions what they really want and what they flock to and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I would try and look at what, I mean, that's the whole reason of like the podcast is because I think it's something that people wanted and needed, but no one ever thought to ask for. So I would want to create a battle that reflects that mm -hmm. approach from the capsule. So something that, which again, I don't know, that's why the event hasn't happened yet, but like something that would benefit the community and the scene and the whatever, maybe something that would bring in more spectators, something that would challenge the dancers more, something that would p make the dancers put on a better show and be easier for an audience to follow mm. um, and enjoy something, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah, that would be my thought process. How about you? If I run a, an event, yeah. what would I do? I don't know, bruv. I'll do a... <laughs> 
flipping i'll tell you what i'd do or you can answer what are your favorite dance no events. i'll okay. tell you what i'd do i want to say my idea no. now i'd do an event no jen said a twerking okay battle what's that booty shaking battle that they used no, to do a jump uh, on? guys i'm not that down bad i would do <laughs> talk to your algorithm uh, an event where they invited like eight or 16 however you want it special battle guests mm. okay and they don't know but that they're all on fire no okay, uh, sorry but then each battle guest like comes up what's that fucking date show called where there's one person naked attraction got, no oh. just let me finish my thing the naked battle attraction no <laughs> no where there's like the battle is here and then there's a blind and then there's three other people oh, blind, uh, date. And they've blind, got date. blind date blind date but then someone reads out the other the other three people's responses because they'll yeah. be able to tell by yeah. their voices but they ask them questions like what makes you dance what yeah. uh, do you find exciting about battling what's your favorite music to dance to all of that stuff and then they pick who they want to be their partner Ooh, and then there are two and then everyone else does that and you? then you have the battle two pairs. on twos yeah, pairs yeah. They nice. that's a cute way of doing things <laughs> jesus christ i'm sorry i'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll, watch I'll watch that he put the whole top of the microphone in his fucking mouth <laughs> jen said good I'll wash it. Okay. I'll wash it up. We're going to replace those, so whoever comes on next week. <laughs> Favorite battle events? Favorite dance events? Oh, sorry, dance events. Um, that's a good question. Favorite oh. dance events in the world or in the UK? I think nice. Euro Battle used to be one of my favorites. I um, loved I loved this dance. I only went once. Oh, yeah. I oh, I love this dance. Yeah, I love I loved that. It. That's I love that. Vibe. I haven't done summer dance yet, so I would say, but um, here. I'm very critical. I always of loved. I did love collabo. Like I used yeah, to collabo find collabo was good. really exciting. Um, mm. yeah. It also depends, like your your place in the scene, and like because some stuff when you first start out is amazing, and then you get older and you're like, eh, not so yeah, much. Yeah, we're not. Let me not speak for all of us. I'm not inclined to go to like showcases now. Mm. So, I, I, yeah, I can I can name you what dance shows exist, but I'm more inclined to go to a show like Botus's new show yeah, or like yeah, Ivan's yeah. got a show now or like Crystal Pites hit. So it's more like following the people's work than like a jukebox evening. Yeah, true. There's been some good, um, the Kingdoms League finale was pretty good event. That was nice. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's, it's a hard one to answer, to be honest. That's a terrible answer, but it is. We've really loved cool. them. Um, and continue hey, to have why do you think them. Crump? Well, what they've put is why do you think Crump isn't always included in hip hop battles? But what they mean by that is events, <laughs> like because Crump is. Uh, not. Why do you think Crump isn't involved in included as much in hip hop? I don't. I don't know if I have the acumen to answer this question. I don't know how many people. I don't even know if I use that uh, word right. I just throw out cool words sometimes. I don't know how many. Crumpers there are in the scene. I don't know if it's a thing because there's not enough of them. I don't well, know. Crump events are happening, just not, they're not so, like, you know. They're on their own, aren't they? Yeah, they do their own thing now a, a bit more than, like, there's not really crump category in normal battles anymore. As far as I'm aware, when I used to crump, the crowds that crumped didn't really care to follow times. Oh, or yeah, fair convention yeah they just do what they want well there's also the thing it's quite a different format it's like people will be like jumping in the crowds and grabbing people and like i think like hip-hop popping locking breaking all follows a very similar format like back and yeah. forth and it, yeah it's like back and forth and it makes sense whereas i think can you two behave please <laughs> Sorry. whereas the like crump is, can get a bit wild and if you're not prepared and like everybody stands up and crowds around mm. and i think it's just if you're not mm. Yeah, I'm not saying that's not the reason for it, but I just think maybe, maybe even for crumpers themselves, like maybe they thought, "Oh, we're done with like trying to fit into mm -hmm. other things that don't fit our format." I do think it all, it bangs at events though, bro. Yeah, when a good crump battle is going does. down. It's it like light feet, where it's like they have a separate format. You know where they have the like you face the camera and like crump, they have that like corridor kind of thing, right? And you dance in the middle, like you're not like facing each other like that. What? Mm -hmm. I've no. seen some events where they they do that, where it's like you're you're at the end of the corridor thing. Um, like two, two rows of people like that. And then people dance in the middle and you face, 
you're like you're not like facing against each other. That's just when you're having a session, though. Oh, okay. It's like right, that's not what happens in battles, no. Oh, fair. Anyway, <laughs> that's so cute that you thought that that was like a format. I don't know. No, no. But I don't, for light feet, it is a format. <laughs> they do like the train, the A train, and everyone goes down that. <laughs> Tally, this one's for you. My mouth do you have any tips on finding performance work aside from having an agent? Uh, auditions? Uh, following? Oh, I mean, maybe that's part of it, like finding auditions and stuff. Yeah, I think following the artists and creatives involved in the kind of work that you want to do so you can stay on top of what they're doing and you know if they're running intensives or workshops or yeah I think that is I think an agent is a great route to finding it um I think the kind of performance work that you want to do is an important thing to clarify I think we had this before uh back in the day I don't know if it was a question from someone but it was it was quite broad and like the key to it is often just like getting specific about what it is that you're trying to do and you know the agent that you might have already do they even get the work that you're trying to get um it's almost like reverse engineering like you have to see the stuff that you want and work backwards like who cast that who yeah not just a like all balls up in the air and like we'll just see what happens i think being specific just allows you to make better and clearer decisions also uh maybe joining companies that are around or i don't again i have no idea of the performance work that they mean but getting performance practice like joining a company and mm. doing like the showcasey type things is a way to do that like class if it is commercial work is actually a really important component of it now um for the quick pickup so that you're ready when the performance opportunity comes and because there's cameras in all of those spaces you will largely have opportunities to perform to said camera and through that the world um nice if you want i don't i just stand in the back in the corner because i'm just there to train but um you can use that as an opportunity if you want there you go good answer i don't think i have anything to add uh we don't have time to do that one Sorry, guys. Should we be preparing more than three Olympic prospects for current and future Olympics? So this is about the breakers. Um, this is hard to speak on. I need to do some more research on this to, to kind of fully understand it. But I think at the moment, yeah, they have like a, a selected number of people. And I think it's from from my perspective, it's a resource thing. It's like if if they limit how many people that they're like preparing or putting behind those three people can get full support. Whereas if you're preparing more, you have to put time and effort into those people and, and eventually money. That's my uneducated response. Like I would think, I, I don't know what the rules are. If the rules say no more than three, then that's one thing. If they say you can have as many as you want, but let, let's say breaking GB are only putting three forward. I don't know. I don't know what that is. What would be the reasoning? So should we be preparing more? I would need to know what the reason is for restricting it to only three so that I would know whether or not I agree with that. So mm -hmm. maybe a little bit more context needed on that before I can give a full opinion. But um, yeah, we, we yeah, yeah, I'll save that. <laughs> <laughs> Tips for transferring skills from dancing to other creative disciplines. Um, my answer we can make this the last one. My answer is to understand why you're good at what you do. Because I think that is the core of any transferable thing. Like you have to bring it back to the thing that is not specific to the thing, if that makes sense. So like if you're good at dancing and you want to transfer the skills, it's like, why am I good at dancing? And what made me good at it? And what skills do I have? that make me good at dancing because skills are just skills like being a quick learner being able to think outside of the box of what the conventions are being able to like understand how the landscape of of any given kind of field or art form is and then do something that counteracts that or that you can apply that to anything it can be you can be a tech person and do all those things so for me it's like i would bring everything back to why am I good at what I do? Why am I interested in what I do? And then try and pivot from there to the next thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. What do you think? At first I was like, I could only 
think of it through like being a freelance dancer and like the associated things that come with maintaining mm. that. But I think we underestimate and maybe because I come at um, teaching from a more like holistic standpoint now but I think we underestimate like the mindfulness and like self-awareness that comes with dancing especially freestyling like we all know what it is to like drop in not I'd say drop in rather than like black out tap out but you know when you're like there like with your body like the choices are happening everything sit like that's a really sick thing to transfer to any well any other aspect of your life like if you can just be this is so, so full moon two 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 but like to <laughs> have the capacity to like meet yourself in real time and like be present in stressful work environments which a lot of creative disciplines are like is a really strong skill to take That's true. over and you're saying you can get that or you have that through dance maybe yeah like you can apply. even if you know even if it is a choreo dancer we all know what it is to like take a deep breath and just bang the set and then you've got don't really know what happened but it happened and then mm. you watch it back and like oh that was sick somehow because I wasn't really there but you very much were and I think being able to harness that in other areas of your life is a really powerful thing yeah that's true actually like i mean if you can let's say battle on a big stage and like as you're doing your timed one minute round with somebody else in your face and judges mm. and audience mm -hmm. and you can sit there and go hmm i've done quite a few of these things let me maybe move into this section and then mm -hmm. after that section maybe i'll do this thing mm -hmm. oh that floor work move move like and kind of have that conscious the strategic yeah yeah All and just like so you're present in on. the moment that is like if you can do that in that environment then maybe like you can multitask so yes yeah. stop tripping and making excuses <laughs> yeah yeah and all, yeah it's true and like when you're creating hopefully a lot of environments will be less stressful than that so then it's like you can you're creating under pressure uh muscle should be fully flexed yeah and we find so much ease in what is actually a really complex thing that's happening yeah and so if we can do that in this in a physical way then i am pretty sure that we can find a level of skill at it in other areas there's Agreed. a there's a samurai called something musashi uh, musashi uh, i'm gonna look it up but he had what a philosophy think? where he was saying like if you master the way of the samurai if you master that then you you should be able to follow the same steps in any discipline mm. uh I'm gonna are you comparing that. me to like a, a really wise samurai yeah yeah Great. Miyamoto Mus Musashi he was a Japanese philosopher. Mustachi. Did he have a mustache? He might have. Also, I just like want to say that anyone that watched uh, the pod halfway through these question segment segment and saw me cracking up, that was all Jen's fault. So there you go. Mia Miyamoto Musashi, uh, also known as whatever. <laughs> Um, Remind me not name, to eat from that area Jen, the table feet, feet off the table <laughs> <What's>? <laughs> No don't, this is your home <laughs> I just saw them slide <laughs> 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 This is why I've had to like, When I've looked, turned around to like look at you guys Talking, that's what I'm faced <sighs> with So what did Mustache say? Yeah, oh you said it Like if you master the something Master the something, one thing, yeah, you can basically. master everything yeah, basically. What I said basically yeah. All right, let's wrap there. Guys, thank you for listening to The Capsule. It's been a wonderful episode. See you soon. See you next week. Bye.